Welcome everybody to the True Ball Pro Am here in London, Kentucky. We are at the Laurel County Fairgrounds. What a beautiful day we have out here. Look at that crowd. It is hot, it is sunny, it is getting windy. We are looking forward to the great Pro Pressure Point shoot downs here, one of the great features of the ASA. Welcome everybody to the Competition Archery Media broadcast booth. I'm PJ Riley, sitting alongside Hoyt Pro, Tony Tazza. Tony, it was a pretty great weekend, especially for the weather. The weather was phenomenal. <laughs> We've been so lucky the last couple of events with the weather. So we're out here, Tony. We're on the baseball field. Very different from what you were shooting in this weekend. Oh, I mean, just night and day difference, literally. Literally. <laughs> in the woods here, it's like shooting down a coal mine <laughs> shaft. And out here, you're in the beating sun. You're in the wide open spaces. And it's going to be windy, like you mentioned. It's going to make it an interesting shoot-off. We are going to pick your brain about what the shooters have to deal with. Uh, but first, Tony, we're going to go to the um, standings for our first group, which is Women's Known Pro. What do you see there? Okay, in fifth place with a 411 is Cassidy Cox. Danelle Lutz at a 412. Haley Grind at a 419. Morgan Reeves at a 426. And pretty far out ahead is Paige Pierce with a whopping 434. Paige Pierce setting the world on fire. Three wins in a row out here in this women's known pro. Just ridiculous how she's been shooting. But the competition's been catching up. For sure. They are, they're definitely gaining on her. They know what they've got to do. They just got to put it in motion. <laughs> All right, Tony, we're going to go to the third member of our team now, Brandon Reyes. He's going to bring out our archers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, are we ready to begin? All right, starting with the women's known pro. In fifth place from Albuquerque, New Mexico, shooting for PSC, Cassidy Cox. Coming in in fourth place from Montello, Wisconsin, shooting for Darton Archery, Danelle Lutz. In third place, from Lancaster, Pennsylvania, shooting for Matthews, Hallie Grind. In second place, from Natchez, Mississippi, representing Elite Archery, Morgan Reeves. And currently in first place, from Red Bluff, California, representing Botech, Paige Pierce. Thank you, Mr. Reyes. If any of the archers decide to want to shoot the upper 12s, they'll take the orange cone and put it in front of their box and leave it there until they finish. They All right, Tony, so for folks scores. just tuning in for the first the time, give them the lay of the land what's happening out here. Well, what, what these archers have done is they've qualified with a 40 target round this weekend. The top five so get to shoot an additional five targets out here in the shoot off, the pressure pack shoot off round, and um, they got a choice to make. They got a choice to make the move, try to hit 12s and 14s, right, ladies, or if they just want to play it safe and see if we'll anybody else makes mistakes, now. they can move forward with just shoot 10s. So we've got five archers, we've got five targets. Everybody's going to shoot at the target they're in front of now, and then we're going to rotate. So every archer will shoot every one of the five targets. And Tony, we should mention this is a known distance class, so they are using range finders. And so as we score the targets, we'll give the distances that they're shooting today. But yeah, you can see the, the shadows that we're dealing with out there. Looks like Cassidy went for a 14, and I think she got it. On that deer, yeah. Yeah. We're looking at a coyote there. It's just okay, right. First up, our leader, Paige Pierce, currently at 434 with 21 bonus rings. On the buzz box and our range official. Ten for Paige Pierce. Ten for Paige. Next up for Morgan Reeves at 426 and 16 bonus strings. And the bonus strings can make play a major role towards the end of the shoot down because it can break a tie for score. And for her we have an eight for Morgan. 
she was trying to make a move there. 14 rings are in play, and that's yeah. not something they normally shoot for. And in this wind, it can be very difficult to get to it. Yeah, that 14 Tony, it's up in a dangerous area. So we should mention Halley shooting the boar. So that is 44 yards. Morgan Reeves was on the links at 32 yards. And uh, Paige Pierce started on the bless buck at 40. I wanted to give you the distances. We're coming up to the Coyote next, which is Danelle Lutz, 38 yards. At 412 and 8 bonus rings. And our doe here um, then I'll grab a 10. is at 29 for Cassidy Cox. And for Cassidy Cox at 411 with 11 bonus rings. Starts looking for the 14s right out of the gate. She's close on that. I thought she had it. Bingo. Oh, got it. For Cassidy Cox. All right, ladies. I mean, at 411. Why not? Yeah, I mean, she's only got one way to go is up. No, she can't go to six because she's already up there. We had some discussions with Mr. Uh, Scott Perry, our range director, and he allows Chris Perkins to assume his role as the official umbrella holder today. We want to thank Chris <laughs> and Scott for cooperating. Yes, we have to mention there, there you see Grine and Perkins there. Chris Perkins, Grine, right, Cassie, Hallie Grine. She know. is the daughter of ASA President Josh Grine. So we certainly want to mention that in her first shoot down ever. All right. Ladies, if you're ready. No change. We'll one minute now. Just there we can see the scoreboard is updated now. Yeah, Cassidy has oh, been yes. moved up to fourth. Correct. Two points out of third. And Tony, this, I mean, moving here, getting to the podium, that's a difference of thousands of oh, dollars. Oh, it is. The manufacturers really like those top three places monetarily. There's a 12 on the Coyote. That's Hallie. For Hallie Grind. Yeah. All right, good shot up, there. Cassidy Cox coming off a 14. Here's a look over There's the shoulder of Danelle Lutz. And she oh, got that another 14. Team. Second and third place finish. Now originally from South Africa. For Here we go, Cassidy with a 12. That moves to 437. She's making some moves. Yeah, well, I mean, Our leader, Paige as Pierce, we said, nothing to lose. Who currently enjoys a 10 point lead. Paige with a 12. Shoots a 12 of her own. Paige, you know, won our first three events here. She's the one who advocated so hard for this Morgan women's Reeves known pro class. And she promised she would show up to all of them. The wild boar. Ten for Morgan Reeves. Ten, Ten on that 44-yard boar. So that is the longest target out there. Next for Hallie Grind on the Coyote. Comes Hallie. Survey says 12 for Hallie. 12 for Hallie. 139. Hallie works as a boat tech at Lancaster Archery and Supply. And for Dan Lutz, who also so called... Go into the shop there. She will help you with your boat. And we have a 14. Another 14. Yeah, that doe at 29 yards. Yeah, that's they're, they're definitely liking right, that doe. Yeah. So let's, look at the, let's look at it now. We have... All right. Page at 4.56 and 22 bonus rings. Second is Morgan at 4.44 yeah, and 16. Got Hallie is at 4.39 and 18. Cassie is at 4.37 and 13. And Danelle is at 4.36 and 9 bonus rings. All right. Let's see. Is Danelle ready? Anybody? All right. All right. So we'll start your one minute. we're getting the now. scores there. We see them on the screen. Yeah, Paige Pierce still enjoys a big lead. Morgan still in second. There's a look at Paige. Just one has won everything in archery that you can imagine. And she will still... Tony, she re she refuses to call herself an ASA girl yet. She yeah, says that's not her game, but yet she won the first three events this right. year. 
She's an amazing archer, regardless <laughs> yes. of what she considers right. herself. She says she's LS, still learning uh, the game, but I think she has it figured out. <laughs> All right, so here's Danelle Lutz. The that looks pretty good. Upper 12 was called. Oh, she called upper. 10 That's a for Danelle. Ten. Okay. For 446. Yeah, we should mention, Tony, there's rings down there. The lower ring that we're seeing them hit, that's always in play. Next Unless they put Cox. the cone out in front of them. Oh, we had a miss. 12. Oh, no. Cox. Oh, sorry. We're she looking at the other side of the target. So there, just what we Cassidy. saw, Tony. That's the lower 12. Always points. in play if they call upper. Only the upper's in play. Right. And they call upper by putting the cone out. For our leader, Correct. Paige Pierce, 456 and 22 bonus rings. 10 for Paige. 460 four for Paige. So 10, Tony, that's kind of par. That's what we yeah, consider that. In her situation, I mean, she should ju just go out and shoot 10s. Unless somebody puts on a big challenge or hits a bunch of 14s. Right. But it's going to be tough for them to close that gap. That was a and 10 Hallie. for Morgan. Now we're coming around oh, to Hallie Grind on the dough. She did not shoot at the Hallie. 14. All right, ladies, move, move to your next target. So, let's All right. see Looking what at the we board. have here. Get our scores updated on the screen. There we go. Okay, 466, Paige Pierce. It's like Morgan there's Reef. now a tie for third. Yes. Yes, Hallie Grind, Grind Cassidy, and Cassidy Cox. All right. Ladies, if you're ready, while we have some technical difficulties over here, we'll start your one minute now. So Cassidy Cox uh, shoots a lot of USA archery. That's a different format, 50 meters at a bullseye that they shoot. But she has come out to play this ASA game. And just a couple weeks ago, she won a gold medal in the team round at the last World Cup. I forget what country they were in, uh, but it was somewhere in Europe. She and Danelle were on the same team. Paige hits the coyote. Yep, hits a 12 on the coyote. A 38 yard coyote. Now we got a good breeze kicking up here, Tony. Okay, first up, Hallie. And that breeze can really change oh, things. Man. Team bonus rings. All right, so Hallie on that bless buck, 40 yards. I think she's going to take an eight. Yep. Eight for yep. Hallie. All right. Next up is going to be Danielle Lutz, who's in 457. I'm sorry, Morgan Reeves. Morgan's up, and she's at four. Morgan Reeves on the links. Bonus rings. Ooh, she's the not going to like that one. Solid second place lead. She eight. does catch eight. an eight, though. For Morgan. Four sixty-two. Our leader, Paige Pierce. Four sixty-six and twenty. There's a good look at Cassidy rings. Cox, and we want to see what she has here. Twelve for Paige Pierce. So that is Cassidy Cox, actually, on that boar, that 12, is, that is for Cassidy. Cassidy. Again? <laughs> That's 14, 12, 12, 12. Wow. 14, 12, 12, 12 for Cassidy Cox, Tony. I mean, that is All a, right. she is making a move there from fifth. 12 for Paige Pierce. 12 for Paige puts her at 478, correct? Yep. And Tony, and I mean. Morgan Reeves, we have. Oh, let's get Morgan's score here. An eight for D Morgan. I mean, Tony, those bonus rings there, that's kind of at the last tournament in Minden. I mean, you did that. 12, 12, 14. You were just hitting them all. Yeah, I tried to put a <laughs> tried to all put right. a move on, but I <laughs> just fell leader, short. Ten points of our leader would be eligible for a But that just shows you. I mean, she was in last place, and now she's goal. right there yep. fighting for right a podium position. Yep, she's in third at the moment. Yeah, three, with second, one to go in regulation. Four sixty-two and two bon and, and sixteen bonus rings. 
In third now is Cassidy Cox. So we have Danelle. Only one point behind. It doesn't look like anybody's going to make the sixth Morgan arrow Morgan unless Morgan something Morgan major happens. Yes, Tony, let's talk about that. We shoot five, and then there's a special one at the end. Yeah, if anybody's within ten points of our leader, they go to a sixth arrow. You know what you got to so, do. Gotcha. Everybody's so trying to get minutes. to that sixth yeah. arrow. Yeah. That's going to be a page is basically has to make a mistake here for that. Correct. Time. For that, for anybody to have a chance. If she shoots a 10 and Morgan shoots a 14, she's still 12 points ahead. And she might have got that 12. Boy, Talking about close. Paige Pierce there. Yeah, she's shooting that. She's ending on the closest target, which is not good for anybody no, else out a, there. <laughs> definitely a benefit for her. <laughs> so they're basically right, battling for a second and third podium position. Exactly. Yeah, this... The this is going to set our podium. Ten for Morgan. All right. Four seventy-two for her. For Cassidy Cox, and she takes another twelve here to jump into second place. Yeah, Next Cassidy up, was on Bryant. that coyote, and Hallie got the fourteen on that, on that links. Yes, she did. Fourteen. All right, fourteen for Hallie Grind. That puts her at 471 with 19 bonus rings. So it's kind of up to now for it's up to Cassidy. If Cassidy doesn't 12 the last target, because she leads in bonus rings at 471. All right, for Dan Allen, it takes an eight. She just had to try for that 14. Yep. Had to try. And for the last two. Here we go. I can say a 10 here for Cassidy. She ends up in fourth place. If she takes a 12, she ends up in second. So 10 a 10. For Cassidy. So I'm sorry, she ends up. That puts her at 471. All right, so she's at 471. Hallie's at 471, we, but Hallie leads in bonus rings. So, right so we now, just heard from Hallie's Mike Tyrell place. that Hallie led and on bonus Pierce. rings. So Hallie's going to finish in third. Cassidy's going to finish in fourth. Because we know Paige is going to win it, and Morgan's going to take second. Morgan's got second wrapped yeah. up. But did she get that 12? She really has Why a not? close one. There she is. Yes. With a 490. 490. And so, for our the rest of our podium tonight, Morgan Reeves, Hallie Grind. First time in the shoot down, first time first in their time podium. The podium. That's, That's a heck of a way to finish. That's a tremendous accomplishment. After the final round yeah, because, I mean, their nerves out there had to be going. There's so much going on out there. There's nerves. You're trying to think about what your competitors are doing. You, you got to remember to set your sight. You've got to do all the little things, or you're really going to have an hard time. <laughs> well, Paige is going to come over here to our microphone and we're going to have a chance to talk to her she takes her fourth win in a row just so dominant in everything here um you know but and she'll be the first to tell you hey the competition's catching up catching up catching up one of these days and she's not a girl that just sits back on her laurels no either. i mean she is working and she Yes, she is. She's a wealth of knowledge. She'll help anybody that comes to her. Absolutely. Yes, she, um, on the, after the first day, she had a big lead, and all she talked about was, I need to go out to the bags to work on this. Um, and so, you know, there's your leader, and she was out here for hours shooting because there was something she didn't like. Mm -hmm. That's why. And, she's and I've the seen best. her at the bags helping her competition with, you know, small problems. And I think she's even had some of them to her home. Yes. To work, she with, has. work with her. She just worked with Hallie Grind yeah. out at the Reading shoot um, and helped Hallie do her first podium finish there in Reading. Yeah, that's uh, incredible. Just a couple of weeks ago. Um, so we finally corralled Paige, and she's coming over to our. our uh, interview area here we of course want to talk to her 
I'm sure her mom, Stacy, is at home watching. Shout out to Stacy. Paige's biggest fan out there. She has lots of big fans, but none bigger than mom, of course. And there she is, Paige Pierce, four in a row. How did that feel? That one felt really awesome. Every tournament, the girls just keep getting closer and closer. And there was a lot of 14s once again out there. Like, everybody's getting better. And so I didn't feel great going into this one. I knew I was going to have to, like, really show up. And um, I shot well. So did the other girls. And it just happened to go in my favor. You did what you needed to do when you needed to do it. You shot the 12s, you know, stayed safe. I'm guessing that was your kind of your game plan. Yeah, it's hard when you go in in the lead. You can't go throwing 14s if you don't need them. So you're basically just shooting 10s, shooting 12s, and kind of waiting to see if people are going to catch you. So it's a lot different, you know what I mean? If, if you guys see me going in <laughs> below, it, my game plan would be totally different, you know what I mean? So play it safe and see what happens. All right, Paige, four in a row. How does that feel? I was telling folks at home that you don't call yourself an ASA girl, but you're four in a row here in Women's Known Pro. Maybe I'll start to call myself an ASA girl, but the only reason I say that is because I feel like this game is so intense and there's so much to learn and it's really difficult and challenging. And this morning, today's round showed me that. So I just feel like I have so much more to learn than until I you know, master some of that stuff, then I'll, I'll finally call myself an ASA girl. All right, Paige. Well, it's awesome to see you out here doing your thing. Congratulations on a great win. Thank you, guys.